And when we have the urges or whatever it is, don't get too upset with yourself, but just understand and start to have that perception change through time. And like I use again, the water is a perfect example. Over time, I started to realize the clarity of this and the deliciousness, and this is from God's gift. And now I look at these drinks. You know, some of these drinks have enough calories, 600,000 calories. Just by doing this alone, you know how many calories you'll save and you'll be happy in doing it. And you wouldn't want that anymore. And the same with the food. All the calories are coming from what's called processed food. Now, I'm on a whole food plant-based diet. Now, I'm not promoting one way or the other, but I do know one thing, and everybody can agree on this, whether you're on a high-protein keto diet, whatever, you know, I know them all, all the different diets, but one thing we could totally agree on is that it's the processed foods that have the, the refined sugar and oils, the condensed oils in it, and also, the, again, there are chemicals that are specifically, you think they sit down, these industries, and they throw this chemical and that chemical, and all of a sudden they start to realize that particular chemical excites the hypothalamus in the brain or releases endorphins, releases uh, dopamine, and all of these things, and, and you get hooked on it, you know? It's like the cocaine dealer. Would you listen to your local cocaine dealer? Also, we're brainwashed mentally through early childhood. Those commercials should be illegal, and we're poisoning our children and with all of these chemicals in the foods. The whole thing is the perception change and the change of eating will keep us healthy and mentally and physically. It is so glorious and so amazing. Oh, I don't know what I want to say. Like years ago in this country, when they didn't have all the processed food, I'm talking about decades ago, people were 30, 40 pounds lighter. And they may have eaten a lot, but the whole thing was it wasn't processed and didn't have those chemicals that got them addicted. In this country, you look at, I think, pictures from the 40s or 50s. And going back then, you know, don't forget, this is, we're inundated by the Food and Drug Administration. Our country, most of the people are lobbyists from the big corporations. So do you want to be a prisoner to them? Come to our free Zoom meeting. See info in description. Now back to our video. The cigarette smoking, right? They, they said, all the experts said, oh, the doctors will get on TV. Look on the... Commercials from the 50s, you'll see they're promoting uh, cigarette smoking. Same with the food. That's all we see is a promotion of the internet, the TV from little children. Go in a supermarket and all the crazy poisonous processed foods are right at eye level in colorful packages. So you want to be a slave to that. There is a way out. There's only one solution and it's called the spiritual solution. And I listened to a lecture uh, a few weeks ago on the internet, and they had all the experts there, all the diet people and the doctors and the scientists, and they're talking about how to get out of this situation, you know, control your weight and, and, and this obsession towards food. Spirit in, don't make food your higher power. That's what you're doing. You're just saying it's a material thing. And we can have that, where you'll be, you wouldn't want it anymore. You'll look at that poisonous food and the nature of it. There's 50 ingredients in it. There should only be one ingredient. But anyway, I want to just to leave you with that. I want to leave you with this, just this one perception change alone, never mind the joyous and things. And don't forget those other processed foods, not only are they high calorically, they ruin your palate, your taste buds. They get in there. And after a while, you can't taste really good food like vegetables to me, just taste so delicious and fruits and all of these things. But if I was to eat a pastry now, or all that refined sugar, it it would be, it would ruin me, right? It's just to go in there and it'll inundate and clog up in the oil to your, your taste buds. We call it educating the palate. And that's the way it should be naturally in this country. Look, in, around the world, people eat all kinds of food, but if they don't eat the processed food, it's only till we bring it in that they have the type two diabetes and heart disease and all of these different things that I, I meetings talk about, I was on all of those. If you liked the video so far, press the like and subscribe button. One word I didn't hear throughout the whole thing was spiritual. They didn't use the word spiritual. And that's pretty amazing because there's only one answer. It's only a spiritual solution. That's what our program, 12-step program, is all about. And step 12 says, having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps. And on page 85 in the second paragraph, it says, it is easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels. We are headed for trouble if we do for alcohol. We could say any addiction. It could be people, food, whatever it is. Is a subtle foe. We are not cured of alcoholism. What we really have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. To every day is a day where we must carry the vision of God's will into all our activities. So when it comes down to our addiction, are we in fit spiritual condition when we're making food? It could be alcohol, people are higher power. 
When we go back to the steps, step one talks about we're powerless. Step two said we could be restored to sanity. And step three said give our will and our life over to care of a higher consciousness. Which really I started to realize my spiritual awakening was when I realized really all of this good feeling, these emotions and feelings of bliss and happiness were in there all the time. And it says in the promises, intuitively we'll know how to handle these situations. So when I started to realize, and when I realize during the day, when I don't keep in fit spiritual condition, where I make the substance I get out of you know, nature, life, or these things of God-given qualities, and make it all about very being very finite into my addiction. Again, I always talk about it. it could be people, it could be food, it could be whatever you want to call it. It's things of the flesh, it's called. But we are made to be happy. We're made in God's image. We have this indwelling all power within us. When we're in connection with that, we don't, it, it surpasses. And we get what I like to call spiritual bread. We get spirituality comes in and we don't need the, you know, we could talk about the compulsions we have towards food. I use the word compulsions because it could be, when a lot of times we talk about food here, though we're here for all the 12-step programs, but I use that because you can have a, an obsession where you restricting the food or binging or overeating. You can have re, an obsession towards anything. It could be gambling. It could be, well, you know, dependent on people, all of these different things in life. It's really, it could be anything. And that's why step one says we're powerless and you put anything in there. And I had just read on page, anybody just coming in the meeting, on 85, the second paragraph, what we really have is a reprieve depending on our maintenance for our spiritual condition.